Hi people, uh, before I started doing stuff in uh, Fusion 360, before uh, my work in ZBrush, I was just playing around with uh, other, other software experimenting and one of the things that I've tried last year was uh, Masterpiece VR. It's software where you can model stuff inside the VR environment and uh, I did some stuff in it like uh, this Hellboy. Since then I moved on, I started, like I said, I started doing more stuff inside ZBrush. Rigging inside ZBrush is something that I really don't like. Uh, it, it's kind of complicated, I maybe because I just didn't get used to it. Lately I found out that there's another masterpiece software, it's called Masterpiece Motion, and it's actually doing the rigging inside VR and apparently it's pretty fast, so I just uh, had to try it, I contacted them, asked them for for, for a, a trial version and I got one so let's let's just try it and see uh, does that thing actually works or not. So this is Shield Guardian, this is the model that we're gonna use and you can see that I have already made one pose and that was made inside ZBrush. Uh, you can see that it's divided into parts that I was just selecting and moving around, adjusting. Uh, that's why that's how I did this this pose. For masterpiece motion we're gonna use this version. Uh, it's symmetrical and uh, it's divided only into few pieces uh, so I can easily manipulate everything inside VR and we're gonna export it into FBX and just jump into VR. And there it is. Uh, everything looks fine. So we're just gonna remove this point here and uh, start drawing bones. Actually, I'm, you can see that this is my point of view, but I noticed that I'm leaning to one of the sides, so I'm, I'm just gonna grab one of the cameras and put it inside the space so you guys can see everything much, much better. Hi. So, uh, we're gonna go into rigging and I'm just gonna draw bones inside the model and you can see that this thing goes pretty fast and uh, now we need to mirror all of that so we're gonna go into Rigging modification tools, click on mirror, we can see this line right now and I'm just gonna click on this thing and this thing and we have our rig almost set up so we can just go into skinning and uh, in skinning we need to select parts and connect them to bones so I'm gonna first start with the legs and then click on, on this knee, paint it out like that. Then I'm gonna click on the other knee and do the same. done. So if you go into animation, uh, there's a add pose option and now we can start moving around our model. <laughs> you can see it's, it's pretty pretty easy to do everything. Oh, there's some kind of mistake happening. Let's see, more mistakes, great. <laughs> okay, so there are some errors and we need to fix that. So let's just go back into skinning. And let's see what's the problem. So, problem is the bottom part. Yeah, you, 
you can see that this area here is bluish and greenish that means that it's not connected uh, the skin is not properly made here so we're just gonna paint it and it's fixed so let's try the same thing for the other leg yeah same thing happening and done that's fixed that was pretty easy uh, but there is <laughs> there is the one part that is not assigned at all so let's see this part knee, knee caps or whatever uh, we should call those uh, are not connected to any of the bones that's why they are in the, in the air so let's just assign assign them to to the knee part again just be sure that you have painted everything and yeah it's it's connecting properly and also I've noticed that there's some kind of issue with the leg here yeah we're gonna fix that bam and done so <laughs> You can scale it up, scale it down, you can do a lot of cool things and uh, now I will just add another pose. We can, we can add another pose. And you can do a lot of crazy, crazy stuff. Uh, and just quickly ex experiment with everything. So yeah, um, once you're done with that, we can go through each of those and just check whatever we have made, pick whatever we want to keep and uh, then we can just go into file, export selected model say new pose and just enter export now we can just check the fbx to see if everything is okay or not and yeah looks more or less okay there are some issues here that can be easily fixed but overall <laughs> it looks cool that's it. Uh, I really hope you guys like this kind of uh, videos. Uh, we're gonna start with more ZBrush tutorials and more streams in the next uh, few months. Uh, if you have liked this video, please hit that like button. If you haven't subscribed and this button is still red, just press it and hit the bell next to it so you can get notified whenever I'm releasing a new video. Um, also, you can find this model on my main factory and my Patreon page. Uh, I want to thank to all my patrons for, for their support and um, I really hope I'm going to see you next time. Bye.